Oh. What is up you guys? Welcome back to Toyota Fanatics. Today is just a T100 update video. Uh, I know not all my viewers out there, but a lot of them are into the T100 and uh, it's been long overdue for what's been going on with this thing. So, so even though it's a, a beautiful sunny day here, you can definitely tell winter time is coming. It is getting cold. You know, I was about to do an oil change on this thing right now. Now, I've driven it uh, 1,000 miles. Say what? Okay, we just passed the 1,000 mile mark for the T100, which is crazy because when I I was scared it wasn't even going to make it home uh, from when I bought it, and to think a thousand miles later, and I haven't done anything like super serious mechanical on it, so uh, T100 is awesome. Anyways, we're about to do an oil change. I've never used this before. I have never used Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer, um, but uh, I you know I think it's the original engine, 204,000 miles on this thing. Uh, it runs good, and I probably wouldn't mess with this stuff whatsoever in just an ordinary vehicle like the Sequoia over there or any of those kind of vehicles, but uh, this thing, this thing's had a rough life, and uh, you know, it doesn't smoke. I don't know. I don't know why I'm going to do it, but I'm going to throw some of this in. As you guys may or may not know, these T100s with the 3.4 liter, the uh, two-wheel drives take five and a half quarts. The four-wheel drives only take five quarts of oil. I mean, that's that's wild. Uh, so we're gonna jump on that, but uh, I also have this clutch spring for the clutch pedal because I told you guys uh, It does not return all the way up, but I'm getting good at just putting my foot behind it and pulling it up Also, I read that uh, underneath the shifter there is a seat and a bushing that are always worn out So um, I told you guys it's I have a little bit of a hard time putting this thing in first gear Not all the time, but sometimes it's a little difficult. I'm not sure what the deal is, but People have said underneath the uh, shifter, there's this seat and another piece. And so I ordered them from eBay. It was like Manhattan Beach Toyota, and it's actually supposed to be two parts. And of course they only sent me one. I sent him out a, a quick response and said, hey, I think you forgot the other part. And of course he said immediately, oh, uh, it was one of my guys messed it up. We're gonna send one out. So um, I don't know, the verdict's still out. It's been about a week, but there's another tiny little part that you gotta change out with this. Um, when I bought them on eBay, it was a package deal. They only sent one. Damn it, eBay. I usually have good eBay experiences, but speaking of good eBay experiences, so the black carpet I put in here is just, just beautiful. I've told you guys, I don't, I don't really mess with stick shifts a lot these days, but I, I does fit this truck well, but the, uh, the new carpet that's pretty thick, plus a super thick new floor mat, I bought $25 floor mats from eBay. I just went to O'Reilly the other day. I was going to get some floor mats and like the cheapest ones they had were like 45 bucks and they were rubber. I just wanted some black carpeted ones, which are pretty hard to find if you just go to a random car part store, whatever those places are called. But, uh, so what I did is I noticed I, I pulled this thing in the driveway and I noticed it was just too much carpet right here. So, uh, we had some fabric scissors here, so I just cut the top off. The good part is, it's $25 floor mats. It's basically just rubber, and it looks like they sprayed the adhesive on and then just put this pile, isn't that what it's called? Pile. This carpet pile on it. So, uh, so I, I gotta tell you, I am, I'm loving how that worked out right there. Cause basically I just need this and this is where it gets filthy. I don't really care about all the way up there. I just gotta make sure that I don't have anything um, that's getting in the way of this clutch going down. Cause it's already finicky enough as it is. All right, so we are all ready to jump into this oil change right here. Um, I did make a video like three weeks ago that I ended up just never finishing and I did a bunch of stuff. We uh, put new shocks uh, on the front of this thing and I can't remember, but, uh, but now it's too late to post that up, but I, I did some stuff. We've been working on this thing all the time. And we are done. Second shock is in. And of course this one took 10% of the time that the other one did. That was super easy. There we go. This little adapter clips being a pain. So I think we're gonna try this instead. Like I said, it's the small things sometimes. I cleaned it up a bunch more under here the other day. The drive shaft was looking all rusty and stuff. So just been out here messing around uh, whenever I get some free time. You guys, today is Wednesday, November 3rd. 
Mark your calendars after months of me talking about doing this. Seriously, leave a comment below if you have heard me say this before and you're sick and tired of me talking about it. But today I finally ordered the glass. I ordered a solid, untinted, solid glass back window, uh, the, new uh, the, new, yeah, the new gasket or rubber, and, uh, and an installation kit, which is basically like this rope thing. We're gonna see how this is gonna work. Uh, I told you guys before, I think what broke it is we had uh, some hard impacts back here, but it, it should be a pretty thin lip, and I'm thinking I can just bang it out with a hammer. Wait, so that's ordered, that's all coming. Can't wait to get the back window done. Um, after the stupid idea I had to spray paint this one black and the, the limited visibility, I'm gonna be so happy to even have an untented piece of glass in here for a little while. Um, probably about a day and then we'll go ahead and tent that out. But with no further ado, I guess let's, uh, oh yeah, here's the piece of floor mat that I cut off over here. That was a genius idea. I'm telling you guys, genius idea. Anyways, let's get to this oil change. So the more I drive this thing, uh, it just gets better and better. I think I've mentioned before that, you know, I thought that the transmission or clutch or whatever was kind of messed up and I thought everything was kind of messed up. And as, as I drive it, I realized that uh, it's probably just because it's a finicky old pickup truck and, uh, and I'm like getting real good at driving it. Just crossed the 1000 mile mark, like I said. So uh, there's no problems, no problems at all. Engine's great, but 204K, the original engine, I don't think it's had any uh, preventative maintenance above and beyond in any way, shape or form. So I just figured I'd throw some of that Lucas in and uh, we'll see how long we run it for before we switch it out. I don't think I'm gonna go full synthetic on this thing, although I love full synthetic, it's just, not a good fit. Anyways, that is gonna do it for this video. So uh, a couple other videos coming up soon. Like I mentioned earlier, you guys are probably tired of me hearing about I'm gonna fix that back window, which I really am gonna fix the back window. I mean, soon, and also the four wheel drive shifter. We're also getting new wheels for this thing. It has got to happen. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and consider subscribing. Uh, everybody drop a big old thumbs up and uh, see you guys soon, later.